never stopped me before. It didn't really matter. <laughs> sort of like when the pilot's like getting ready to hit throttle. He's like, you ready? Like, nah. Oh, well, yep. <laughs> here we go. And here we are back in a podcast. Here we are Paul. With, why is my hair crazy today? We had like 10 minutes of pre-show. And... Sure. I feel like we've already done the show. What are we talking about? I don't know. Um, you got something in the mail today. Yep. Yeah, I got the iPhone. So that was nice. Oh, that's, that's casual right. way of saying it. The iPhone. Which one? So what color is that one? It's black. It's kind of hard to tell. It's black and a black. Mm. I put a case on it, right? Because I don't want to hurt it. But you don't want to. This will be a good day. It's unfortunately it's crappy and foggy and dark yeah. out, so it's not a is good that, day. For that's it, the but... non pro. <clears throat> that's right. Okay. I'm not but joking. It has, the same, you know, but... it has the pro, which I th- I like. Um, I was worried. Well, actually, I still don't know. I'm I I found the iPhone four and five series devices to be kind of hard edged and and hurty. You know, when you held them, it, like <laughs> kind of hurt. Funny, that's how I describe you. <laughs> yeah, show show us where Paul hurt you on the doll. <laughs> Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know if I assume this one is kind of the same, but I slapped it in a case so quick. I, I never even checked. So I guess yeah. I'll look at that later, but you know, the one thing that's funny, I, I wrote an article, I wrote some of an article about, um, rethinking how I do like a, a smartphone home screen. And mm-hmm. I spent a bunch of time last night, uh, configuring, I eventually did it to three different Android phones where I kind I really kind of minimalized like what's on the screen and mm-hmm. I am only using like one screen. Yeah, and so I'm kind of curious. I, I'm going to see if I can do it on the iPhone. It's going to be a little harder because you can't move the icons all the way down. But actually, if I'm only using a single, I don't know. Maybe I can. You can put a widget up top. Use widget, yeah. So anyway, but because they have this app library thing now, it's a little ponderous. But one by one, you can go through the icons and say remove from home screen, mm-hmm. and you can either delete it permanently depending on the app, or you know if you want it or not, or you can just remove it literally from the home screen and put it in the app library. And so. This device with like a single screen of icons plus that app library, that's probably pretty good. Yeah. You know? I only use one screen. That's, yeah, that's it. Nice. I, that, and if it doesn't Is fit, it, it goes into icons? a... Let me defold the whole screen. Yeah, I'll just... Pretty much or whatever. Yeah, show me. All right. I assume we can show me. Uh, hold on. Yeah, me. okay. Well, I was trying to get a, the picture changing. Oh, well, whatever. Um... Yeah. Okay. okay. So you've incorporated a couple of yeah. Big... So like I've got the weather up top, and then I've got like the little photos thing that does whatever photos, yeah. and that's it. And then I've got a couple of folders that. What What are the four dock icons you have there? I couldn't really see. Um, let's see. I have phone, message, like mm-hmm. iMessage yeah. or whatever, text messaging, email, and browser. Interesting. Um. <clears throat> yeah. So I, w- w- what brought this on was other than the fact that I do a lot of navel gazing. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, modern smartphone OSs, like uh, new new versions of Android and iOS, I think, have like a digital well-being thing. And one of the the parts that's in there is it, you can see like how often you're using apps, and it lets you see which apps you actually use the most. Mm-hmm. And so I kind of organize my screens very specifically. But I, I used to, I've always used, or have long used, two home screens on Android. Mm-hmm. But I was wondering if it was kind of arbitrary. And so using the information from that digital well-being app, I kind of I ended up using a couple of folders because there's a lot of stuff I don't really need to access all that much. But it's really cool looking on this particular phone. I, it looks better in real life, but it's like super minimal. Mm-hmm. Um, which which phone is that, by the way? That's a Huawei uh, okay. P30 Pro. This is what I was just using until I swapped over the SIM. It looks looks really nice. <laughs> it's a nice phone. You should yeah. make more of these. We'll sell them in the U.S. No, too late. I don't know. That's a bit above my pay grade. I don't get to make those <laughs> decisions, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I use two widgets, and that's. And you must use. I think I saw a photo. The photo widget. What was the other? <laughs> weather, probably. Yeah, weather. Um, although I am going to update the weather to a widget stack, so that way I can swipe down on it and then see my daily fitness, even though it's on right. my watch. But yeah, it's, it's, no, but it's, yeah, just like a, a see. I did a. I can't really see it. A weather. How can I make you see that? It's a weather plus a clock. I don't need a clock. I just wanted something to fill the space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like just just kind of can make the weather take up the whole space. Hmm? You can make that weather take up. That's true. Yeah. Right. Just uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just. I don't know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good in depth dive of your iPhone 12 experience so far. Just talking about widgets that came out a month ago. <laughs> that was my old iPhone. Oh. <laughs> 
I, I've, I haven't, I've, I've done almost nothing. The new phone has nothing Whoops. on it yet. It's just, um, I'm just figuring it out. Like I still haven't installed most of the apps. It took, you know, I mean, the, let's be, let's be honest. Apps. The only thing that matters on that, there's, there's two things that matter, the camera yeah. and magnets. That's it. And the magnets. Yeah. 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 I mean, the, yeah, the 5G is not great. <laughs> I don't know. Is there something I can stick to it? I don't know. I don't See, a... Do you have like a clip that you put on like your uh, chip bag? That's like what I, what I want to put on there so I can tote around my chips on the back of my iPhone. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, um, yeah. She can see if it'll hang on your fridge. To it. You can hang it on the fridge, yeah. Because yeah. it stick to the computer? No. Hmm. I don't know. What about the metal plate in your head? Does it stick to that well, one? Well, actually, so my son has <laughs> metal plates in his head because he has cochlear implants. Oh, I didn't even think about that. So I kind of hope they don't shoot in that direction because if they do, he can't own this phone. So <laughs> or he this... can, or he doesn't have to hold it. I mean, maybe it's like a. Well, no, uh, you can't. You don't. Oh, want the right, that's right. That's right. I'm an idiot. <laughs> move out toward the. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that that makes more sense. I'm an idiot. No, no, it's okay. I, I, you, t- why would you know anything about this? You should. I shouldn't. I wish I didn't. <laughs> you know, it's just an unfortunate reality. So. It is. Just like you have nothing to offer about the iPhone 12. I was curious if I should go out and buy <laughs> What do you want me to say? It's it's pretty. I mean, yeah. it's nice. I mean, it's, I, it's an iPhone. Like, I'm still not yeah, going to buy one. Black would... color is really hard to photograph. <laughs> you know, I just, I, from that perspective, I wish I had gotten light green, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. The 5G, I know we've talked about it before, but it was, people were saying, like, initially in the interviews, it knocks 20% off the battery life if you want to use it. And yep. iPhones aren't exactly known for their robust multi-day length battery life. <laughs> so, by the way, I said this to Andrew yesterday, but I'm curious what you kind of think of this. Um, we were talking about the new iPhone because we did do a show last week and mm-hmm. talked about the iPhones. And I said, you know, one of the things no one's really talking about is like I've, I've seen these reviews. Like everyone who reviews the iPhone who got it like early mm-hmm. uh, was obviously compelled by Apple to like go find some place for this 5G and so you can yeah. talk about how awesome it is. And all of them kind of did the same thing. They like, here's a particular place where you get the you know the mm-hmm. super fast version and you know one of the guy i don't remember the exact details but one guy was like i can download an entire season of a netflix show in less than a minute and and it's like yeah that's really it by the way super impressive but here's the thing nobody has an unlimited data account right so mm-hmm. the, the the downside to 5g could be that you can download the entire season of a netflix show in one minute because you just used all of your data for the month yeah <laughs> like in a minute like that's and uh, I mean, obviously, the the push for 5G is coming from carriers, and the reason that carriers have such tremendous deals in this family of iPhones is because they're 5G and they really, you know, they want to get people going on this. Mm-hmm. And I honestly think part of the part of the reason is people are going to use more like data when they get when 5G like is available and actually works. People are going to use it like a shit ton of it. <clears throat> but I see and now I, that that is, I don't know if I agree with that. Okay, yeah, no, I just started it out as a theory. So it, it, not necessarily that. I would argue that potentially we might we might use more data as more devices adopt 5G, but not like I don't I don't if this phone had 5G, I don't know how my habits would change. Well, I, I guess um, here, you've done this, right? You're uh, and I, no, you're not doing it this year, but like you're you're in an airport and mm-hmm. you're you're sitting there looking at something on your phone and you're like, oh crap, yeah, I forgot to download something to listen to watch on the plane on the flight, like a like a show. And then maybe you're like, well, I'm on Wi-Fi. You know, let me give it a shot. And then the thing that starts downloading, it's like 1%. Mm-hmm. 1%. Yeah. And then you realize it's never going to work. And then you're like, well, I don't know, maybe when I'm on the plane, there'll be some in-flight thing or I can, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then you just don't do it. But the one of the big scenarios for this supposedly is like you're standing in line to get on the plane. You're like, oh, I got to download that show. And you're like, doop. And it's like, bloop. And it just works. And I, I feel like that kind of convenience if it does work, I mean, I think we might use it. But I also feel like we need to go back to truly unlimited yeah. plants or something, or reasonable costs. You know, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Like, I, I totally get that scenario, and it's that's a that's a real scenario that people will find themselves in. Um, yeah, but I don't. I don't see that leading to a massive increase of data consumption. Now, if you have like a VR headset that's streaming it directly <laughs> to that, like that sort of right. thing. Absolutely, like Hololens potentially might be doing that, but I don't know about on our phones. That Jesus, <laughs> just spilled coffee all over the place. Do you know Ward Ralston? He used to work for Microsoft. Um, 
I just no. kind of on the Windows Server team back in the day. He actually he was the, his last job at Microsoft mm -hmm. was he was Satya Nadella's speechwriter before he became CEO. Yeah. Now obviously once he became CEO, he has an army of people. He doesn't need Ward anymore. But anyway, Ward traveled to Europe. This would have been several years ago now, while working at Microsoft, and he streamed. I think it was Breaking Bad on probably on Netflix or something back in the day, whatever it was. And uh, he watched the whole thing while he was flying around Europe. And then he got home and he had a $5,000 phone bill because he forgot oh, to, yeah. he didn't do it over Wi-Fi. <laughs> so he, uh, you know, he contacted his um, carrier and he's mm -hmm. like, hey, look, I made an honest mistake, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah, you did. You owe us $5,000. They literally didn't oh, God. like cut him a deal of any kind whatsoever. And I, yeah, it's just... Never forget that story. Yeah, I mean that's well, that's it. I, the the thing that the reason why I can see carriers wanting people over to five G is beside the marketing thing, especially on Verizon. Like the more people they get over to five G, the faster they can turn off their their LTE. Yeah, um, because sure. that's how Verizon does. It. Other carriers do it too, but Verizon is typically a little more notorious with it. Uh, of like, hey, we're winding down LTE. You got to get on five G and join us in the new party. Because we're turning all that off so we can make it America's greatest network or whatever they promotional <laughs> thing this week. Make AT&T great again. <laughs> um, we, uh, I mean, the reality, of course, is 5G is terrible today uh, for the most part. So it doesn't matter. Like no mm -hmm. one's, no one's going to benefit. Not no one, right? literally. But most people aren't going to benefit from this right away. And as what I noticed, and I think this is pretty common depending on where you are, is you'll see that you have a 5G connection and it's actually really slow. And this is something I think it's PC Mag does that uh, connectivity test thing every year for the wireless carriers, and what they found was that I think with one exception, and it was probably Verizon, mm -hmm. MM Wave, whatever they call that, um, most carriers or the carriers, 5G connections were on average slower than their LTE connections, and so <laughs> maybe that will work out in the opposite way. It's like, you know, no one knows what their speed is anyway. Who cares? No one's really paying attention to that. The thing you're doing works. You don't care. Yeah. So now they're pumping out slower speed. It's better for the network congestion. It's nice. I don't know. It's a scam, Brad. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> however, you, however you add it up, whatever you land at at the end, it's scam. It's like when you go to Taco Bell and they have some new thing, but the, the items on their menu <laughs> yes. haven't changed. Like you've only had beef, <laughs> beans, cheese, and a shell Thank for you. seven years. You like, literally have five ingredients. You can mix them up however you want. You can call it something funny. Gordita, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> it's like literally the same food. I haven't had Taco Bell in a while. I'm not complaining no, I about either. that. But I like Taco Bell. I don't, I, well, that was the I thing. I don't go like, there a lot, I guess, so how much could I like it? But Well, there there used to be one. The problem is Chipotle overtook my love for, like, if I went yeah. um, that type yeah, of Yeah, but you food. know what Chipotle doesn't have? What? Doritos Locos. <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> yeah. Doritos Locos Tacos, or what were they called? The thing I appreciate about Chipotle is like they don't even try to hide it. They're like, this is what we have. Just tell us what yeah. order you want us to plop it on your yep. you know, menu or whatever aircraft of choice, and we'll put it in there. There's a great uh, video on YouTube somewhere of a guy who goes through that process you were just describing, and they, he, you know, they, he, the woman's holding the bowl or whatever, mm -hmm. and he's like, she's like, do you want some of this or this? And he's like, nope, some of this, that, nope. And he's, he says so, so no to everything. And then they get to the end, and it's like an empty bowl, and she's like, so... And he's like, yeah, I just want the ball. <laughs> 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 or whatever that container is called. I don't know. Other things that have come out in the past, I don't know, 24 hours, is Phil Spencer did it. Did you see that, read this yet? Did an interview with Stratechery and... Stratechery? Stratechery. Is that what how you say that? I don't know. No, I, I don't know. That could be. I, I have a really rich history of mispronouncing things, so I would not trust my Well, gut. no, I, I, yeah. I mean, I do too, actually. I thought so. it was Stratechery or something like that. Okay. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so Thank he's you. basically, he doesn't basically hit. He he says that Microsoft is like considering looking at like putting xCloud on a stick. Um, yeah. That's pretty obvious. They had a device like that in the past, but I think it makes sense now. Also, iOS on xCloud is coming sooner rather than later. I'm assuming they're going to do the exact same thing Luna did on Am Amazon did because it, it works. Yep. yep. Um, and then what was the other one? Like bundling like a Game Pass Platinum that would have like that streaming stick for the same, I don't know, I like know. included and then you get, um, you know, Game so Pass. So the streaming and... stick would be an HDMI thing you could stick on a... Yeah, I, I would imagine like a little Roku thing, like, yeah, you know, this, like or the Amazon Fire Stick, exact same thing. Yep. But it runs whatever, the Xbox UI, and then you can just pick games and play it that way. Yep, sounds like a good idea to me. It does. It sounds like something we might be seeing next year. Mm-hmm.
because uh, yeah, that's what they were basically hinting at. And then things we may not be seeing next year are Intel unless they get their butts together. <laughs> you know, I know. I know. Well, well they still earned four point something billion dollars. It's not like they're running out of cash. I mean, they they're not yeah, growing. Data, business, uh, data center business fell seven percent. Their PC business only grew one percent. Um, you know, in a year when the COVID bump has been lifting all ships, unless your name's Slack or Intel, apparently. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I, there are some concerns there, but those look. This is the company that can't move past ten nanometers. That uh, AMD all of a sudden is twenty percent of the PC market. Mm -hmm. uh, Qualcomm is going to make moves on the data center. Uh, Nvidia is a bigger company by market cap than Intel now, by the way, and is buying ARM. Arm holdings. Um, they're under fire from a lot of different angles. Yeah. So, you know, I, Intel is basically the Microsoft of the, you know, personal computer space, uh, the, the the Microsoft, sorry, of the mm. hardware part of, you know. But Microsoft was able to adapt by doing these other things. And I don't see that out for Intel. Like, it's big traditional businesses and it's potentially big businesses of the future are non existent. Yeah, I, I mean, well, I they don't... sold off their basic storage. They kept Optane, so they just put like nine billion bucks into the bank. Okay, but you know, this is a company that touts things. It did literally, and I'm not, I'm not paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. They said this: AI and 5G. They sold their 5G business, and the yeah, AI stuff. They're getting killed by Nvidia. What are you talking about? I don't know. Yeah, everybody did just kind of like show up at the at the picnic at once and just start eating out of their bowl like real quick. Yeah. And it yeah. all kind of converged in like an 18, 24 month period. I mean, NVIDIA have been doing work for years to get to that point, same sure. at AMD, but they all kind of just launched around the same timeline. And then Intel's like, oh, yeah, we, yeah. I mean, look, at least they got that great mobile story. So they're, they'll be fine. Wow. wow. No, I'm, I'm just saying there are concerns. Yeah, well, you know what they don't have to worry about? 10X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got that. Uh, Windows is not going to be leaving x86. Oh, boy. Soon. They're, they're trying. They're going to get there eventually. And but wouldn't that be something yeah. if like Microsoft and Intel merged or something like that? That would be. Oh God. Huh. That will never happen. It will never. I don't happen. know. I, now that you say it, I mean. Well, I mean, the, you look at their Xboxes. You look at their. I think they would have some big issues with AMD. I think AMD would fight it in courts and say all that and that's a well i mean uh, uh, it's interesting i mean again well i guess you got to qualify that like how far behind does intel get like if they get to a certain yeah. point where it looks like where microsoft looks at them and yeah, says hey I they're mean, not going to produce the chips that we need <clears throat> to run our laptops then right. everyone knows that uh, rome wasn't built in a day one of the lesser known quotes is that rome also didn't fall in a day yeah. um you know these things happen slowly you know, mm -hmm. even the Titanic hit an iceberg and it took a while. I mean, it didn't just sink immediately. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you could look at the company now and be like, but they're generating billions in revenues. What, do you, what, what are you worried about? And it's like, well, well yeah, they're, they're all, generating it on yesterday's investments currently. Yeah. And it's also those revenues were lower than they were a year ago in the same quarter. Yeah. And, and I think I the, the big the big sign there is like PC makers are saying like, hey, we're selling more PCs like. Yes. Well, okay. So apparently in this quarter, most of the PCs that were sold were toward education, which are lower cost. Um, and I guess the big bump from the data center stuff, which did happen early in the pandemic, has kind of calmed down. But did it just calm down for Intel? I mean, yeah, I don't know. What's Team Red got to say about that one? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I'm sure they have an answer. I'm sure they do. Maybe we should call them on your iPhone 12. By the way, that just worked. <laughs>